Hello there, welcome. Today I've got a Leviya game for you. I'm playing against Kano and this is an, a very interesting matchup actually. Um, while it's not easy for Kano to play this, he managed it quite well and um, the game was actually really close. So let's jump right into it. For equipment, Leviya got quite a nice suite. Um, we're talking only AB1, but that's not as important. We have basically Spell Void 4. So Kano can't just rip off a combo with one AM with one wildfire. He needs two and probably a lot more. And while all that is going on, Levi can put on quite a bit of pressure. Obviously, she needs the graveyard fill first. And while she can't block against Kano, um, there are quite a bit of attacks possible. Or rather, there are quite a bit of cards that can you that you can use as graveyard fill. Oh, we, we see the Mark of the Beast here. That one doesn't even need the Graveyard Fill. And now we're seeing what, what Kano's game plan has to be. He basically needs to, to sort of try and raise us as, as far as possible and so um, get some nice chunks and maybe bait us out some of our Spell Void. That obviously gets kind of hard if, if you're just drawing a Blood Rush Bellow, which completely blows him away that's at least at least 10 damage uh, which doesn't need even need a graveyard now i choose to let him opt here just so i have a, a larger hand to play with to make sure that blood rush gets in for all all the possible damage Ideally, we, we draw into some blues and yellows here. Of course, that can always um, not be the case, and that then you would be kind of screwed. But that's that, that just comes with Levi as a hero, or Blood Rush rather. Fortunately, we get the blue and can throw at least at least a, a claw and an attack here. I choose to throw two claws and one attack, and not uh, uh, yeah, basically not have any resources up afterwards. Because I'm pretty sure Kano can't kill me here. You would have to draw the nuts to to do 32 damage through spell word four here. And we don't even have to take the graveyard yet because of Mark of the Beast. Just casual 18. I also think. Kano's doing the right thing and not blocking too much because I've made the experience that if Kano blocks too much, he still leaks the damage and can't throw back too much. So he just eventually ends up losing. And right here, he actually does something real scary. He's coming in with an Aether Flare and three cards left. So if I just take the damage here, that could get real ugly. Um, it's definitely a consideration to just put one of the, the spell void twos into this. I chose the greedier line and ended up just pitching into AB. I think that wasn't the correct choice though. Because having that extra card for the Blood Rush next turn would have been more beneficial and yeah you can you don't need the, the full spell void four to survive a, a Kano combo. Especially with, with pitch left from Blood Rush. Kano even ends up having the, the wildfire here. Finding it off the top. I mean, of course he knew it was coming up. Uh, fortunately for me, there's not, not enough pitch left to, to play another big card after this. That is sort of the playstyle Kano has to go for against Levaya though. Now, Blood Rush discards cards first um, before it lets Kano react. So he could theoretically, um, while I don't have any cards in hand, start using his combo. I had two resources floating though, and 
once again the four spell void so that's not really an option for him and now we draw into something real nice um in the pack hunt here unfortunately not enough resources to throw both claws and a an attack but that still leaves Kano with a uncomfortable decision to make here because if he lets this go into the combat chain he'll have one card less to either block or attack me with Yeah, and getting Blazing Aether is obviously very nice. And we even got the Gaze the Ages that we can descend quite a bit now. And But we're not drawing into the best of hands. It's still possible to make a 9 attack out of this with the Hoofs of the Shadow Beast um, when the Boneyard Marauder banishes. And then just a Claw after that, even putting the Barraging Beatdown in there. Right now, once again, I, I ponder about taking the full damage or pitching into AP here. But with Kano not having... I mean, he has a card left and potentially there could be there could come the Aether Wildfire right afterwards. But that's only 4 damage extra. So you will rather Arsenal. And now we, we still have a whole blue card to pitch into AP this turn. And Kano has to make a decision here. Uh, if he starts blocking now, he'll eventually lose, so he kind of needs to have the hand to kill us here. Using the, the hooves to get the extra action point here, they just say whenever you, you banish a card with 6 attack or more, you can destroy them and get an action point. So next thing we would do is intimidate him with barraging beatdown and then just come in for a claw, still having a whole blue card up. And while we did draw quite well, there are lots of cards that Levaya can can draw in this matchup, which, which lets her fill grave and go aggressive. And Kano didn't really see a point in in going further with this match, which which is fair. I think he either dies this or next round uh, without being able to keep any cards. So yeah, there'll be another Levaya video tomorrow, and I hope I'll see you then.